Hi, welcome to Controller Scratching. Today we're going to look at the Hercules DJ Console RMX2 and how to get it set up for scratching. On the unit itself, the only thing you need to do is make sure that the vinyl button here is engaged and lit so that you're able to grab hold of the music and scratch with it. Everything else you need to do to set yourself up for scratching is in the software. We're going to look at the Dejuiced software and the Virtual DJ software. So let's go into those settings straight away. Okay, firstly in the control panel for the unit itself, the RMX2, on the main tab, two things you need to have here, jog wheel, settings, sensitivity, uh, needs to be set at normal, that's how I find it works best, and the crossfader settings, make sure that that is set to scratch curve. That's all you need to do there. Then in the Dejuice software itself, go up here to uh, configure the settings, Audio, the sample rate at 44.1 kHz or 44100. And then the only other thing you need to look at here is mixer. And this is the crossfader curve. Uh, I find that the scratch one works just fine, but if you want, you can custom, custom draw a curve there, but the scratch one works just great. So there you go. That's all you need to do in the DJ software to get you set up for scratching. Let's look at virtual DJ now. Okay, here we are in Virtual DJ. Let's go straight to the config page here. First of all, we're going to go to Performances and get your latency nice and low. I've got mine at 128. Go as low as your system can cope with before it starts sounding strange. Then here, the Scratch setting, Optimize for Quality and Master Tempo, Pure Scratch. Otherwise, it starts sounding really crazy. Then go into Options and what you need to look at here is the Crossfader set to Scratch the jog mode set to vinyl, jog sensitivity I have it just over halfway and the jog sensitivity for the cue at about three quarters. Uh, bend shouldn't make any difference to scratching but I've got that at three quarters as well. And I have the disc at 45 RPM. So there you go, that's how to set up Virtual DJ and you're all set now on the two main softwares that you can use with the RMX2. So there you go, once you've got those software settings done, you're going to be good to go scratching on your RMX2. If you are interested in learning to scratch on your DJ controller, then sign up below for some free scratch training from the Scratching from Controller DJs course from Digital DJ Tips. And also subscribe to this channel if uh, you're interested in finding out the scratch settings for your particular hardware and software setup. We're going to be putting a lot more videos, so subscribe to the channel and you'll be the first to know when the videos go up. As with all these videos, we end with a quick demo of scratching on this particular uh, controller, so let's have a look at that. See you soon.